you go to visit your family for the holidays and your mom and dad have some big news. Your dad tells you that he has a recent cancer diagnosis and that they give him six months to live. He's dying. I'm here to talk to you today about how to cope with a dying person. I'm Virginia Intelisano, mental health counselor, registered intern with the state of Florida. There are several different stages that you're going to go through when coping with a dying person. One of them is denial. That's usually the first one. You're kind of shocked, a little bit numb, you can't believe this is happening. The next feeling you're going to get is bargaining. You're going to plead with God, plead with the higher being above, plead with anyone who will listen that you don't want this person to leave you in your life. You might even feel sad. Feelings of sadness and anger are going to happen. You're going to go back and forth in between them. In fact, you might even go back and forth in between all of these stages, but it's completely normal. I suggest that you go and find support, that you have someone to talk to, whether it be family, close friends, or professional. The last stage is acceptance. Just remember to be patient with yourself and patient with the loved ones around you. This is an extremely hard time and a way to learn a lot about yourself, your family, and your friends. But acceptance is the ultimate stage. If you have any questions about this information, please contact your local mental health professional. Believe me, your safety and your sanity is imperative. Take care.